sometimes people miss noise or some smell which they are used to they don't get it and they feel uncomfortable so this is the human nature so we get used to material existence we get used to wasting our time and being plundered by our senses in fact if that is not happening we become bored we think that something is wrong something is missing so that is actually the situation of condition living being and they have no way to figure out what they are actually supposed to do so prahlad is actually depicting the situation of a common person so common people who go in the material life or after food sex music some arrangement like that they cannot think and if some other little bit of energy is remaining then you have to work to make money to satisfy us and that's all the whole life goes in that way completely cut off मनसो दुष्टी मतकीर्तनादीना जनकृता सो इन द प्रीवियस वर्ष ही वॉज स्पीकिंग अबाउट हिज माइंड दट हाउ माइंड इज डिस्टर्ब सो समन सेज दैट इफ युअर माइंड इज डिस्टर्ब नो प्रॉब्लम यू कैन डू कीर्तन सो डू hear some katha and that will purify you so it says not possible so people can watch tv for hours you make them sit down in kirtan or some katha or some lecture they fall asleep in 2 minutes and snoring <laughs> so he says it is not possible for me why jibha vagindriyam rasnendriyam cha vitripta sati that my tongue is dissatisfied so tongue does two functions one is food other is gossip <laughs> so he says i am not satisfied unless i gossip few thousand words every day <laughs> and i cannot be satisfied unless i eat a lot of food so it says there is a push there is an impulse every sense has got its vega vacho vegam jukha dro prastha vegam so the tongue has a very strong vega impulse most of the time people are moving their mouth either eating or talking it's difficult to see people quiet or not eating so something the mouth has to work in india the chewing pan and then spitting everywhere or chewing gum go on chewing chew this called chewing the chew there's nothing in it but still go on moving or talking so he says it's always dissatisfied ho achuta mam akarshati so he says that it's always pulling me gramme katu mithyadi pralapam prati It's always impelling me, pulling towards some useless talk, which has no meaning. People sit down and they gossip, go to coffee house, or sit in some bar, have a cup of beer, and spend hours <coughs> just talking useless, meaningless talk, no meaning. so that is called pralapa so pralapa means 
यूजलेस क्रैटन प्रजल्प सो प्रजल्प इज अ बिग प्रॉब्लम सो प्रलापम प्रति मधुरादि रसम प्रति छे और वी वांट टू ईट स्वीट्स टेस्ट समथिंग स्टमक इज फुल बट स्टिल वी वांट समथिंग एवरी फ्यू आवर्स वी हैव टू ईट अन्यथा स्तोपि अन्यत्र कामिनीषु कर्मणि एंड देन दिस इज स्टोरी ऑफ वन सेंस देन ही टॉक्स ऑफ अदर्स सिमिलरली सो ईच वन यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड इन द सेम वे सो नेक्स्ट वन ही टॉक्स अबाउट द जेनिटल्स सो दीज आर द टू मेजर वंस टंग एंड जेनिटल्स दे आर द मेजर डिस्टर्बेंस to the human mind and practically speaking the whole life rotates around this because they are important for our survival food is important for survival and sex for procreation or originally so that you survive that is another way to survive that i die not i live probably <coughs> So then I continue. So this is very strong impulse. More than any other sense. Karmani dhano parjana do anya tarana do va shakti samarthyam lunanti. And then we lose energy in these things to do anything, <laughs> especially. energy for any spiritual practice and people say that i don't have time or i have no interest so usually people don't take interest in anything spiritual because of this attachment to especially these two senses and if someone has interest then they lose the ability to understand they can get inside the head mind becomes so dull completely dull head it but this looks so difficult to understand also this is the most natural thing because it is about ourselves everything else you are studying or talking is not about you it is about the third person but this is only about us and this we have difficulty in understand because our brain become dull because of attachment to sense objects so that for the shakti samarthyam lunanti trotayanti so the senses that take away our energy they like they are breaking them they become broken when it comes to spiritual practice no energy is left so this like in bhagavad gita arjuna he sits down in the chariot says gandivam sanste hastat twakcha me paridhiyate says that my gandiva is slipping from my hand my skin is burning bhamti vacham me mana my mind is reeling so this is what happens so fighting means spiritual practice that is the spiritual practice so for spiritual practice he has no energy so as my mind reels people say they get they say they I, i get headache if i study shastra <laughs> or i fall asleep so this is what it means lunanti means the subject lunanti breaks atas tvat kirtanad avakasham eva na pratmati so that what is said the meaning is that there is no time for kirtan or studying the scriptures so now 
everything is done by machines previously everything was done manually and people had time now you can travel so fast and you have machines for washing your cloth right or doing other things but you have no time So this is amazing. We should actually have more time. Now we should be able to sit quietly and engage in spiritual practice because so many machines are available. Previously you have to go from here to Delhi and spend a whole day. I remember from the beginning when I was here, you have to go for some work from Vrindavan to Delhi and at least half a day just gone to reach there. If you don't get a direct bus, there used to be two buses in 5 o'clock and then there's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. If you have to go other time and you take something from here, go to Chittikala, wait there, you may get some bus and then they will drop you somewhere and get another one. And they will stop also themselves on the way. So, so much time was just wasted in traveling, but still people had time. Now there is no time. So because senses are engaged in more sense objects, previously there were not so many things available for sense objects. So evam svakarma patitam bhavveta nyam Anyonna janma marna sanabhita bhitam pasyan janam sapara vigraha vaira matram hanteti parachara pipihi mudha madhya. So now he speaks about others. Although in the previous verses he was speaking about himself. But now he really speaks that this is the situation of people of this material world. So he says that in this way, the living being is bound by his or her karma and has fallen into the material world which is compared to a river called Vetarni. It's supposed to be a river between here and Yamaraj. So if you don't do good deed, you drown in that. So that is called Vatarani. Bhav Vataranyam Swakarma Patitam. By his own karma, one has fallen into this river which has a very strong current, cannot swim in it. And Anya Anya Janma Marna Asana Bhita Bhitam. And therefore he is terrified by death, from birth to death, death to birth and then in between there is the outcome of one's karma. So janma, marana, asana. Asana means eating, eating the result of your karma and it is described in the open shop that there are two birds sitting on the tree like two friends, Bhavishu Karnam Sahaja Sakhaya Samanam Viksham Parishashvidana Tayoranyo Piplam Swadhuvatti and then Anasnam Navichakashit. So one of them is eating the fruits. So that is the fruit of karma. So bitter and sweet fruit. Sometimes bitter, sometimes sweet, mostly bitter. So we are suffering with that. And therefore it says bhita bhitam, therefore we are all terrified. There is fear inside everybody. There is some anxiety. So this is the outcome. And then on top of that what we have is he says, Pashyan janam sapara vigraha vairamatram 
I'm seeing these people, then they have, this is my friend, this is my enemy, this is my relative, and they are completely caught in this net. This is mine and this is not mine, this is yours. So this is my possessions, this is my relative, this is my friend. So all these divisions, and somebody is my enemy. So he says, I am seeing that this foolish living being in this material world is suffering. So he is praying to Lord Narasimhadev that please be compassionate on these people. And you are the parachara, you are on the other side of the river. So somehow take them also to the other side. न केवल अहम एक अपितु सांसारिक सर्वे वजन क्लुष्यति तदु धर्म प्राप्तवत इन द प्रीवियस वर्स ही वाज स्पीकिंग ओनली अबाउट हिमसेल्फ नाउ ही सेज दैट इट इज नॉट ओनली मी हु इज लाइक दैट बट एवरीबॉडी इन दिस मटेरियल वर्ल्ड इज लाइक दिस एवरीबॉडी इज सफरिंग फ्रॉम द डिस्टर्ब माइंड एंड फ्लिकरिंग स्ट्रांग सेंसेस so he says, please uplift them. Bhaveva Vaitarani Yam Dwara Nadi. So this material world is, is compared to a river because we hear the story in the Purana that when someone dies, then he goes to Yamaraj, but at, before you go to his palace, there is a river outside. And you have to cross this river. River is very strong and there are dangerous aquatics in that. So everyone has to cross this. <coughs> so tasyam svesham parasham cha vigrahe yathayatham veram matram cha. So in the same way in this material world, we have dangerous animals in the form of human beings who may be your enemy, they try to trouble you, hurt you. Not that everybody is just killing you, but then they shoot arrows through their mouth, speak some harsh words to you. You cannot sleep at night, you become disturbed. So that's like enemy shooting arrow at you. Somebody passes remarks about you, about your work, about your statements anything. So like that we are always suffering. So he says, please, you are the only one who is beyond all this. Evam bhuta vaitranya pareva virachit krida vati heto. Because Lord's abode is beyond material world and these types of problems don't exist in his abode. So he says, please uplift us to that place. Tasyam hanta kripya piprihi vaitrani muktari upon me. So he says, please make me and other living beings cross this material world. Konu atra tekhil guru bhagavan prayasa उत्तारणे अस्य भव संभव लोप हेतु हो मूढ सुवै महादनु ग्रहार्त बंधो किंते नते प्रियजनानु सेवताम ना सो ही सेज फॉर यू देर इज नो बिग एफर्ट इन अपलिफ्टिंग पीपल डोंट हैव टू वर्क वेरी हार्ड फॉर दैट यू आर द अखिल गुरु यू आर द जगत गुरु you are the teacher of everyone. So, Tarane Asya Bhav Sambhav Lopa Hetu. You are actually the cause of making us free from this bondage. Mudha Shuvai Mahadanugraha Artha Bandhu. So, you please give your grace to foolish people. Kimte Natai Priyajana Anushevatam and 
definitely we will get your grace because we are your servants we serve you so if you can give your grace <coughs> to these people will definitely can give to us ekena so maya katham sarvo janas tarani so lord says that i am one how can i uplift all these people alone it's not possible so prahlad says no that's not true itche tatra konu iti akhil guru guru roop dharana ekena pitvaya para paradhina pitvitum samarthe so he says you are the guru you come in the form of guru and one alone you can uplift everybody सामर्थ्यम मे नास्ती वाच्यम यू कैनॉट से दट यू डू नॉट हैव द एबिलिटी द स्ट्रेंथ टू डू दिस वाय अस्य विश्वस्य जन्म स्थिति संहार कारण से यदि जन्मादय कारण अभूस्तदा उद्धार से तु कारण भवितु महर्षि एवेति भव ही सेज बिकॉज यू आर द कॉज ऑफ क्रिएशन एंड मेंटेनेंस एंड सॉल्यूशन सो इफ यू आर इफ यू कैन क्रिएट देन यू कैन आल्सो अपलिफ्ट देम शुड बी जाय सो उचितम एतदिया फॉर यू बिकॉज पीपल आर लेस इंटेलिजेंट दे डू नॉट नो यू आर ओमिशियंट सो यू शुड लेस दिन ताम चीया तारिष्या इमं अति दुराग्रह मृथा चेत तत्र सो इफ लॉर्ड से दट Oh, Prahlad, I will deliver you and those who are related to you. So Prahlad says, "Please don't say that. I want everyone to be delivered." So you see, he is very compassionate. He is not thinking only about him or his relatives, but about everyone. So this is his magnanimity. तब ये प्रियजना भक्ता स्थान अनुसे माना नाम नो अस्माकम ते न त्वत्कुते प्रत्यक्षतां न किम त्वत् भक्त सेवा प्रभावत प्रभावत स्वमेव वैम तरिष्यामिति भव। So he says that actually I am not asking you to deliver your devotees. That you can do. Easily because they are serving you, and they have no other interest in anything else. So that's no trouble. But problem is about those who are not your devotees. You should think about them. Nevo dvijay para duratya vetar nyas tadviri gayan mahamrita magna chitta. शोचे तथो विमुखचे तस्ंद्रिया मया सुखा सुखाय भरमुद्वहत विमुखान सो इस एक्चुअली आई एम पर्सनली नॉट अफ्रेड ऑफ दिस रिवर कॉल्ड वैतरणी नहीं उद्विजय पर दुरस्त वैतरणी ऑल दो इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू क्रॉस दिस वैतरणी रिवर विच बेसिकली मीन्स इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू गेट आउट ऑफ दिस मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड But says I am not worried about that. Why? Because I have got the means. And what are those means? He says Gayan Mahamrita Bhagna Chitta. So the Virya Nam Gayan that I will sing about your name, about your lila, about your qualities, and I will become absorbed in that. And by becoming absorbed in that, I can easily cross. 
So I have absolutely no problem. But my problem is that I am worried about these other people. So he says, Naya Udvij Soche Tato Vimukha Chaitasa. So these people who are Bahir Mukhas, who have turned away their face from God, who say that why do we need God? We have science. God is not giving us food to eat. So why shall I bother? Why shall, why shall I fold my hands to Him? Why shall I bow down to Him? In fact, God does not even exist. It is only an imagination of human mind. In the past, people did not have science, so they saw something extraordinary. They prayed to that. They saw fire, they saw moon, they saw sun, mountain, rivers, so they prayed. Now we understand, so why do we don't pray? No need to. So this is called Vimukha Chaitasa, such people. That their minds are turned away from God. They cannot feel the presence of God in all these things. Because they are so blinded by their desires, by their pride. So they cannot feel the presence. If God has to personally come in front of them, still they will not be able to see Him. Because they don't have the eyes to see Him. They are blind. So there is no point in arguing with them. So He says that, I am worried about them. But what will happen to these people? So He says, Soche tato vimukhache tase indriyartha maya sukhaya bharam. So this is the heart of a Mahabharata, a great devotee. He's, he's not just making it a show, but he's actually feeling like that. He's feeling truly compassionate. So this is how Lord's <coughs> grace comes on people. Not directly from the Lord, but through his devotees. Only when devotees desire to bless somebody, then the grace of the Lord comes. So Prahlad is now praying for all these people. So he says that these people, they are Vimukha Chetsa, they are not devoted. And why is that? He says, Indriyartham, Maya Sukha. Because they are busy with their senses and for some material pleasure, Maya Sukha. Pleasure which comes from matter. So for that they are working and bharam and they are carrying a big burden on their back for that reason. Bharam udvayato vimudhan. That is actually the bewilderment. So they are very much bewildered, they are illusion, they are confused. So a materialistic people, those who are not devotees, they may be highly intelligent, but still they are confused about the reality. <coughs> so na bhavyata shanti na shantasu kuta sukham. They don't have bhavna, they don't have love in their heart, and therefore they are always disturbed. So Prahalad says that I am requesting you to help them. Kinchaham swartham to sansar taranam naiva arthayetya. So he says, I am not praying to you to deliver me from the material world. Naiviti, he paras sarvasrashtha, O best one. Vaitranya sakashad no dvijay. I am not worried about this Vaitranya river. Tatra hetu tvad viriyai te kintu vimudhan socham. Why I, I am not worried? Because I will sing the glories of your activities and then the material world, this river, will dry out. So it, it becomes like a 
water in the hoof front of a cow goes for the goes for the so he says therefore I don't need to cross by chanting the river itself becomes like a drop but it is the other people so as long as we are not devoted the Lord, devoted to the Lord, then the material world is like a big ocean for us, and we are drowning in it. We are helpless. But if we take shelter of Lord's feet, then Maya metam taranti. Mamevaya prapadyante Maya metam. So that one can cross it very easily. His feet are like the boat, boat with a motor. So you don't have to row it, you jump on it. So he says, therefore I am not worried about myself. He parasrestha vatarna sakasatna udhuye tvad he tatrahetu tvad viriyaitu. So this is the formula. If you want to become free from material suffering, then this is the formula he is giving. All other formulas, they fail. There are other formulas also, like you go to a bar when you are in trouble. <laughs> this is formula. But it doesn't work well. It is as like he said that the solution is worse than the medicine, disease. So you have a problem, you find a solution, then the solution creates another disease, another problem. So, Dukha Asadham Tada Vidyakha. So that is called Dukha Asadham. The solution for suffering, and then what do you get? Dukha. Tada Pi Dukha. So you solve one problem, another one is standing at your door ringing your bell, but I am also here, please take note of me, waiting, I am waiting so long. So if you don't want these people to trouble you, then you sing the glory of the Lord. Kintu vimudhan sochami. So vimudha means bewildered people, confused people. Indriyarth hetukam yen mayamayam sukham tadarthaparam. Because they are only working for the sense pleasure and they are carrying this big burden on their back. Kutumb bharnadi bharam udvahatam. So they have the burden that I am my family, I am my wife, my children, my relatives. I have to maintain them. So whole life goes only in that, like the beast of burden, a donkey, see here in India, small fellow, and big lord on the back. Whole day, <coughs> this is what is going Then he gets some dry grass to eat. Feel relaxed. Then get up in the morning, do the same thing. So this is the human life. Prayen Deva Muniya Savi Mukti Kama Monam Charanti Vijnena Parartha Nishthaha Netan Vihaya Kirpanan Vimukshu Mumukshu Eko Nanyam Tvadasya Sarnam Bravato Nupashi So he says that generally the sage is the Munis they only think of their own welfare. They are not worried about others. So, prayana deva muniya sa vimukti kama monam charanti. They keep silent, no talking. And vijne, they live in a solitary place away from the society. So, no parartha nishtha. They are not thinking to help others. So generally that is the case. He says, but I am not like that. Therefore I am not going to go away 
dropping all these people here suffering. Netan Vihaya Kripanan Kripanan Vimukshu. I do not desire liberation, leaving all these Kripanas, all these fallen, suffering living beings. So, Nanim Todas Saranam Brahmato Amitasu. So, the Lord says, Why are you telling this to me? Do something yourself. So, he says, Because I don't see anyone else except you as their shelter. You are the only one who can help. So, that is great compassion. Tvam tavan mukti grihana. Tāstu tattvagya muniyo mukti sadhanam upadesh upadekshyam tīti ce tatra. So Lord says, okay, you are troubled, so I give you mukti. And don't worry about other people, there are so many great sages, they will take care of them. So Prahlad says, no, they know, nobody takes care. They are sitting somewhere. Alone, aloof, they don't even speak in the daytime, keep silent. So, how can they help? So, that's why I'm trying to let you please think about that. Prayana, Prayana means mostly, it does not mean that everybody is like that. There are also many great sages who worry about others who try to give knowledge, help, like Vyasa, he wrote so much, he wrote all the scriptures for the welfare of human beings, that's why we have Vyasa Puja once a year, remembering his great contribution to help us. Otherwise, there are so many other sages, we don't worship them, why only Vyasa? Because out of compassion, he wrote Mahabharata, Puranas, especially Bhagavad Purana. <coughs> so, Lokana Jamta Vidwan Chakra Satvat Samhita. He composed this Satvat Samhita, this book called Srimad Bhagavad Purana. Because people did not know what is the solution for the bondage of Maya. He saw Maya, Maya and Chaitapashvaya. And he also saw the living being suffering and he found a solution. He saw that. So therefore he wanted to help. And then only he became satisfied. Otherwise before that he was dissatisfied in his heart that I have not done sufficient. Says, but most others they don't do that. Therefore, he says, try. But mostly, the sages, the munis, they only think about themselves. I am tu na tatha bhubhu shami. Says, I do not desire to be like them. Nayata niti. So then, what do you want? He says, I will not go away unless you release these people. Nayatan vihaya kripanan. I will not go alone, leaving them behind. So that's his prayer. Tatyo anya tamasya janasya svanam na pasyama. And if Lord says that, well, okay, don't leave them alone, then find someone else to help them. So he says that I don't see anyone. Not of Samasya, the Vikasya, Vikasya, then nobody is equal to him, nobody is superior to him. So only he can help. And not anyone else. So this is what Prahlad is praying and he is informing us that as long as we do not turn our awareness towards God, 
towards Krishna, we will continue to suffer endlessly. There is no end to suffering. So the only solution is to take care of, to take shelter of Krishna and his devotees. Otherwise we carry the burden or we are drowning. These are all metaphors to make us understand that if we have had experience of drowning, then we can understand how does it feel. So sometimes we forget the suffering because as I said the mind is very interesting, it gets used to even suffering. So then that's a very dangerous situation. If we can think suffering itself as our end, sometimes people say, well, it's part of life. <coughs> Don't worry. So if you think, start thinking like this, that means then you will never find a solution for it. Suffering is meant to wake you up. That is the call. Like you're sleeping and somebody is trying to shake you and you say, well, that's just part of life. <laughs> This is habit, he does it. So you keep on lying down. So if you start thinking like this, then the person will also stop shaking you after some time. <coughs> then you can sleep to your glory. So in the same way, if you start thinking that suffering is this part of life, then I will not find any solution for it. And of course, when I say, I mean spiritual solution, because material solution brings another suffering. It keeps you in the same cycle. So that is, we have to think about. We, should, we, should, we don't have to think. But sometimes people say, well, life has no purpose. This is also, there are also some philosophers who said, life is meaningless. Life is purposeless. Life is just meant to suffer like this. So these are dangerous philosophies. They are making sure that you remain in the material world and get cooked all the time in the fire of Adi Devik, Adi Bhautik, Adhyatmi. It's called three tapas, three types of fires. So Prahlad is not of that opinion. Prahlad says that there is a way out of it, a solution for this, and that solution is devotion to God, surrender to God and His devotees, and then you can become ultimately free from it and you live eternally happy life. So I will stop here if there is any question, we will still continue. There are about five more verses, very long prayers. What is that? In, in some verses behind, Pralada was, was saying to Prabhupada Shivadeva that Thanks to his guru, uh, thanks to Narada, he received his grace. But now he is praying to him that he himself save other people. So to me, I, I don't understand how it seems like a contradiction. Because no, there is no contradiction. Other, other don't talk no, there is no contradiction. He was saying that. You gave your grace to me through your devotee, Narada. And therefore I will never forget him. And I will never give, service, give up my service to him. So now when he is praying to the Lord that you give your grace, the Lord is going to give his grace to his devotees. He is giving it because Prahlad is already praying for them. <laughs> Because only because of his prayers, he will give his grace to them. So this is the way the Lord gives 
His grace is always infinite. Is Prahlad mostly concerned for deities <coughs> or what? That, uh, what is the use of being concerned about devotees? That you already said that I am not worried about devotees. That you worry yourself. Lord himself is worried about devotees. So, so I am only concerned about these foolish people we moved on. So he is concerned only about that yes. So this is Vaitarani? Vaitarani. Vaitarani. You want to go there? No. We are not ready. If you go, I'm coming. <laughs> no, but uh, this is consisting in this river, let's say, in the border between the Just, just before Yamaraj. Yeah. So then everybody has to cross. Unless you go to work on time. But this river consists in something, or it's not that it's a real river with a real water? It has crocodiles. It has crocodiles. So if you do Goseva, huh? <laughs> then when you go to the river, then you will find a cow and can catch the tail. <laughs> 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 and people have actually experienced like that. I was reading one story that there was some cow which has fallen in the ditch and there was one Muslim fellow and he saw this and he helped the cow. And then later on Somebody put a charge against him and then he was to be hanged. So when they tried to hang him, and they hanged and he did not die. And they tried three times and then he was released. And then later on he said that every time they, they were hanging me, I felt the horn of a cow under my feet. <coughs> So he then gets <laughs> choked up. <laughs> and then there is a rule that if you do that and it doesn't happen at a certain time, then you are off. So the real experience is... So if you do go seva, then no vatarani. Uh, we see in the history of the world that times again personalities appear to claim to save the world and save people and missions are, uh, have been created to save the people yet uh, it's very doubtful if anybody has become saved so how does this Come, go along with this verse that uh, you know, the Munis, those who are actually elevated, they don't care, Pranat says. Yet if some people do care, they don't really seem to accomplish much spiritually. Well, there are two things. One is that somebody is capable of doing it or not doing it, or doesn't want to do it. And then others who are not capable of it, they want to do it. So in both cases there will be no reason to, because the first one is not trying it <laughs> and the second one is not capable of it. So there has to be. Therefore Jeeva Goswami says that Kripalo asmartasya dukhaya kripalita That if somebody is Kripalu, means very compassionate, but is asamartha, is actually not capable. He has a heart and doesn't have the ability. So he says that his compassion can only end up in suffering. For both. For him and on whom he gives compassion. So when we see all these persons going around trying to save people, 
Yeah, so first we have to see whether they have saved themselves or not. Also these Munis, maybe they think that they are not qualified and they are first trying to save themselves. 